Hey, Shalom. Giving all praises, glory, and honors unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. <coughs> what I have right here is a few articles. <coughs> and uh, we have some new, new uh, astronomical discoveries. All right. Um, That has come out in the last few weeks, and um, I, you know, I gotta say, uh, there's going to be a lot to the kingdom. You know, there's there's going to be a lot for we Israelites to um, have to thank Yahweh Bashmi our shout for once this system goes down and 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 our people are back in power. All right. Uh, because Esau, you know, he's able to uh, see things that he'll never enjoy. Okay. And uh, a lot of these things are out there in the heavens. Because we got to remember the angels, Yahweh Shai and the angels, you know, going back to the book of Genesis. Under the orders of the Most High Yahweh have created, you know, different things. For the elect to enjoy, all right, <clears throat> and then new things are also being created as well. So, this is from fizz.org, and it says, First discovery of dozens of new giant radio galaxies. So, there's a lot of galaxies that Esau is able to use his instruments to see. Okay, I remember the scripture says that uh, he is as wise, he's a wiser than Daniel. All right, and and how about me? I was shy. Has given him the technology to see things that are really for the Israelites. Okay, so it says astronomers from the University of Wisconsin Madison and elsewhere report the discovery of sixty three new giant radio galaxies as part of the faint images of the radio sky at twenty cm survey, also known as first. It says the findings are detailed in a paper published November 15th on the preprint server. It says the so-called giant radio galaxies are radio galaxies with an overall projected linear length exceeding at least 2.3 million light years. <clears throat> they are rare objects grown in low density environments in general. GRGs are important for astronomers to study the formation and the evolution of radio sources. Now we know that you know Esau manipulates uh, how time is measured. You know, saying that the universe is millions of years old when you know the scriptures you know break it down to actual thousands. Um, but nevertheless, the things that he's able to see. Okay, the things that Esau is able to see and discover, that is what we're focusing on here. Okay? Um, and there's a lot of numbers here, but what I want to see, or what I want to get is, let's see here. And they see a lot of different galaxies being discovered. You know, because Esau has the technology to, to use these telescopes and things to, you know, detect what's out there in, uh, beyond Earth. Okay. Let me see here. Read this. Okay, well, there's enough on this. I'm not going to get into all this uh, science terminology. But Esau, he has these instruments out there to, you know, make these different discoveries, okay? Uh, so now the next one I want to get, now this is from CBS News, all right? And it says, uh, a new solar system has been found in the Milky Way all six planets are perfectly in sync, astronomers say. 
All right? So galaxies, planets, all these things are being discovered. And why in these last days are these things being found? Because Yahweh Bashmiah was shy is showing the elect of Israel, of the so-called black Spans and Native Americans, which were all really the, the real Jews, the, the, the different tribes of the nation of Israel, all right? Uh, so we can have something to look forward to, you know? It's like when you get the chance to finally buy that big house, that, that palatial mansion or, you know, that property that you've always wanted, you know? And, you, you know, you might go on Zillow and you see it online. You get to see pictures. You see the inside of the house. see the outside. You see the yard. You know, you might see a pool. And you get excited. Well, this is what Yahweh Bashanah was shy is doing for us when Esau is able to discover these galaxies and planets. Okay? So it says, astronomers have discovered a rare in-sync solar system with six planets moving like a grand cosmic orchestra. Hey, well, that's the power of Yahweh Bashanah was shy. Okay? That proves that there is, and Esau calls it creationism. But when you read Genesis, the first chapter, it says that the Heavenly Father, through the angels, created the heaven and the earth. Okay? And for everything to sync up and to, to, to uh, uh, um, as it says here, you know, move like a grand cosmic orchestra, only Yahweh Bashmiah was shy can, can, um, can um, have something so great come together like that, all right? So it says, uh, the fine announced Wednesday can help explain how solar systems across the Milky Way galaxy came to be, which we know how they came to be, okay? Uh, let me read down some more. Uh, it says, now the planets are in perfect syn synchronous orbit with each other. We're looking at what a solar system may have looked like, and they give it X amount of years. Uh, you know, because they got to th throw truth and, uh, and, and misinformation out there. Um, let me see here. It says, now, it is difficult to actually look at a solar system like ours and do what I call forensic astronomy. <clears throat> Looking back over time to imagine what the dynamic conditions were like in the early solar system. Yeah, because Esau doesn't have a time machine to see how the angels did everything. It says, there was so much dynamic activity in our solar system in the beginning. Yeah, when you read Genesis, the first chapter, all right? It talks about the angels manipulating the elements to come together to create the heaven and the earth. All right. It says, matter of fact, let me get that scripture real quick. Let's go to Genesis, the first chapter. Right. Genesis one and one. <clears throat> and, I, and I'll just read the first two verses. In the beginning, the angels, because this God here is not talking about the most high God, Yahweh. It's talking about the angels, all right? Uh, you know, they, they, uh, they call them the watchers, the celestials, all right? But they're the angels, okay? In the beginning, the angels created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the spirit of the angels moved upon the face of the waters. That's the different elements, <coughs> All right, so they were allowed to create the universe under orders of the Most High. Okay, so now let's go back. It's just a little bit more. It says, uh, <clears throat> There was so much dynamic activity in our solar system in the beginning. Our solar system right now looks nothing like what it originally looked like, and they don't know that. Okay. Look at a solar system like this one where the planets are in this nice synchronicity and look at a number of other planetary systems that show the same thing and hopefully we can figure out how our solar system got to be the way it is. All right, well, the Earth 
and everything that's in it was created. I just read the scripture. And because you can't explain it, it doesn't mean that the Heavenly Father didn't give the prophets and his people uh, the information, you know. But that's the main thing I wanted to bring out. You know, you got these galaxies being discovered, a new planet is being discovered, okay? Um, now, I usually read this scripture here because I... I uh, I gave the analogy of, uh, you know, like a house or a mansion that you might see on these websites online. And then you finally get to uh, visit the house, tour the house. And then eventually you get to live in it. Well, <clears throat> the kingdom is likened unto that. So it says, Yahweh Shai comforts his disciples, John 14 and 1. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the Most High Yahweh, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions, right, which are planets, galaxies. Because where do we dwell? We dwell on Earth in the so-called Milky Way galaxy, but there's other galaxies out there. Remember, the Scripture says that Israel will be at the stars of heaven. So we're going to be able to populate everywhere, far beyond this planet. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Okay? And, uh, and that's what Yahweh Shai and the angels are doing. Preparing a place for us to go, you know, once the kingdom is established. Verse 3. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And we are waiting for Yahweh Shai to come again to take us to uh, these different places, these galaxies. You know, establish the kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. And this is a beautiful thing, you know. So I just wanted to bring that out. All praises go to Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai by Shemrakakwadash. Shalom.